What's up, y'all? I have a little bit of time this morning, so we are going to do a shop vlog. It's time for the next shop vlog. I don't even know what number we're on, but today is going to be on cam locks. And anything cam lock related, I've got them all sitting out right now, getting them reorganized because, I'll tell you why I'm doing this, because most of them were organized and then thrown in the back room and kind of a hard spot to get to. But if you'll remember when we placed a Nakitoma 5 in, there was a wood shelf right here. On that wood shelf, there was a ton of loose cam locks uh, right there. And I've gone ahead and sorted them out from what I, when I, when I took that shelf down, right, I just kind of scraped everything into a box to deal with it later. It's later. And uh, so I'd been, a couple of days ago, I started putting them out and getting a few more of them sorted. So let's take a look at all the different cam locks in case you're curious about it. We'll try to quickly go through them, uh, you know, in addition to the ones I already have up here for retail sale. All these are just kind of backup, I guess you could call them. Plus I've got a few more uh, wood desk locks that I need to pull out while I'm doing this. And we're gonna have to come up with where to re-put everything when I'm done. So let's grab these wood desk lock boxes as well and bring them up. I think we may need Carson for this because uh, I'm kind of running out of room up there. And also I'll point out, I do have stuff out here from uh, my van. These are all locks that go, well, yeah, everything up here is locks that go in the van. Uh, so here we go. We're going to do plastic bins. These right now are just older different things so with this locks make the cam lock these are kind of oddball ones oddball short complex we have some weirdo turn hook locks like that so anything else what that does very interesting as well as these pricey suckers these are uh push and turn by complex uh, I can't remember the number on them, but got several of those and brass as well over here somewhere. I thought I had a brass one. Uh, you got double bit cam locks right there. That goes in the truck. And I uh, just brought these all out from the back. These are already all sorted. So we have the, uh, for the most part anyway, we've got wood type desk locks, 8053. These are just your standard compex cam locks that are about an inch. These are a little bit too short to use for most things. So you almost always have to step it up to the 8055. Now these two containers actually was pulled out of some of that. So these were being sorted 8055. Say here, goes over here, 8055. So this and this just came out uh, from the back room. So that's in this 8053, of course goes in there uh, then we have a couple of just different what is this? these are short little guys used uh, that are pinned on there so that's used literally on like metal cabinets and such uh, and then of course all the uh, and then you go off into the antiques but as you can see we don't really have we may, we may not have to bring Carson out we may be able to just use what we have here and, and then the 8155 and the 8060 pen tumbler that's that instead of wafer tumbler you have the pen style these are much better they have a lazy cam usually typically these are used for like narcotics situ well back in the day they were used for narcotics cabinets nowadays of course narcotics cabinets are going to be under like electronic locks but this is they were heavier duty the lazy cam flipped into position. It was a lot harder to, to bypass those compared to just a plain wafer lock. And the 8055s are these little knobs. You may not ever see one of these, but these are also used on medical carts. They were mainly used on medical carts. And there was like the storeroom function and then a classroom function. And then they had these little cams. So in here we've got an 8051 and 8054 can't remember the difference between the 55 and the 54, but 
uh, we've got quite a few of them packed in this box. So I think those really need their own room. Probably need to get some of those on eBay because I've got so many of those and they're so rarely used. Maybe somebody else could use them. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. Let me go ahead and pull out the round base wood desk locks. Now, this is a Nakitama Plaza 1 OG here. Uh, when I installed it, I knew that I was gonna have trouble accessing this area. So I figured I would just turn this little narrow channel here into stuff that I don't really need a whole lot of often. So like, let's see, most of it's labeled there, but of course it makes it hard. Like I can reach, I did this, I did this measurement exactly for a reason because it's just big enough for me to be able to get here. And then if I go over to the other side, I can reach the other half, but you know, it makes it really hard to access uh, some of these boxes. So, and I also have several of these boxes that have the same exact thing in them, almost all wood desk locks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all those out and get them out here and get them a little bit more separated into a bigger container because Kim found some new plastic bins. Walmart has been uh, hard getting them, getting a hold of them through Walmart, which is pretty much the cheapest place to get them. Uh, so now that we have bigger bins that we can use for that, we can go ahead and re get these, how they, you know, into the right ones, uh, and then figure out how to get everything up. Well, once we get them in bigger bins, then we can figure out where they're going to go. Okay. Uh, we really need Carson out here just to be able to, to lay everything out a little bit easier. Carson! I almost need a whole shelf just for these, don't I? These are all still separated, you know, according to mostly what they are. That's a different plastic bin too. So we need to match up these two plastic bins with these so they stack correctly. And, uh, mm, mm, not sure. This one over here was actually uh, part of a kit that I used to use in my truck and I took them out. So these are also kind of weirdo sorted locks. So we need to go ahead and just weirdo sort them. Oh, these go, these are these, yep. And stuff like this weirdo guy would go with these weirdo things. And then some disassemble locks, some extended cams of different types. Basically just stuff that was in my truck and is now not. Uh, these are those double, double away from some antique stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these sorted out. There's some little mobile kit, mobile parts kit that I put together uh, for use on the road, which is actually never was a really bad thing to keep with you, but it looks like I need more screws. It's the one thing lacking 
is uh, in there as the screws. And I had all of that stuff before in these metal pullout containers. So obviously, like with all some of those 8055s and such over there, with those big containers of them, they really won't fit in there. And I kind of have this block in it. That's no big deal. I can move that out of the way. I just kind of had that up there while I was putting screws in it. I don't know, what do y'all think? Should I reuse, should I reuse this guy? Let's, let's pull this, let's pull this open so we can see what we have. Oh, can't forget about you. I separated one box into two containers. Non-cam lock stuff, cam lock stuff. Now we're gonna narrow it down into the appropriate bins here. I think that's it. Y'all remember the plastic shelves? that you flamed me about for so long. Yes, they are still providing a purpose back here. This is where most of these have been stored because a lot of it's stuff that I don't use on the daily. And uh, and then I've got my lock force stuff up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, redo probably both of these plastic cabinets because this uh, was a, a red, something to do at the time and I just, Put them up here and i was like hey this is a great spot for them but what i didn't do was i didn't cut these down where they needed to be so with all shelves what i do is bring these down stack them up to see where they need to be cut this, this is pretty heavy so i don't know if i want to do this one-handed or not uh but anyway bring this oh yeah so we'll take that just like that all right put this here whoa thanks again torch for that still got stuff i gotta go over in that video uh so there's not really enough room to put one more unfortunately there and if i stack up two up here come on back up come on back up just like this all right uh unfortunately because of how that pegboard angles out that is not my decision one day i'm gonna do something about that in the meantime it's no big deal but see See, that's, that's the problem, is it? it sticks out a little too far right there. So if I bring these down to this height and cut it and redo it, I can, I can get more, not necessarily more on the bottom because my initial thought was we could do just this, right? So that even, even if I had a small one up here, I still really wouldn't have room to put stuff up there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut these off a little bit to bring it down to just this height. And that way, uh, or three of those. Let's go see. So using our empty plastics, we can tell this sits pretty much just fine. If we push it back, it does poke out a little bit. So it could come down if we wanted to do two of those up there. Uh, but we know what two stacked up up there doesn't, doesn't. So, see, this is the problem. I think this is why I originally didn't go ahead and lower this because this would fit two big ones and one small one. Three small ones, I could lower it a little bit, which, as we saw above, would lower it down probably enough to get two up there. We need two big ones, don't we? All right, so to make that thing even come close to fitting it would have to lower oh, pretty much the full the full height of that. It'd have to lower by about that much, which even if we did that, it's not gonna sit. You know, it will sit maybe. Uh, hmm. That's one of the problems. That's why I hate that angled pegboard. There was, there was no point that they did that. It's always irritated me. But I'm not gonna be any doing any construction on that anytime soon so these two would fit up fine up here if we lowered it down to this height however then we're only able to get that high there which is only two containers or if i didn't go with the big ones on the bottom three two mm, if i lower it to there we can go two, of 
course, the other, other answer is to completely just take this home and get another shelf, right? <laughs> okay, so that would work out. Two, two, and, and two. We can't fit another big one there. So we got one, two, three, four, and then two small. Lower it down to here. And then we're going to be able to get maybe three stacked up up here. Three small ones. And definitely two big ones. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Maybe a mistake. But I think we're going to cut it off right there or just use these spare ones that i have i don't know how far down it goes right there so maybe maybe just whoa maybe just mark these really it's all going to depend on how many of what plastic bins we end up with by combining a few of these things we already have one two three we already have three big ones we can easily fill up a fourth big one with, with round base desk locks. And so that would be one, two, three, four, and then one, two small ones. So if we fill up one big one with round base locks, we can probably get it down to, to two small containers of round base. And then above it, we'll put in, mm, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna buy another shelf right now. I don't, I don't wanna build or deal with another shelf. Uh, even though I do need another plastic shelf at home. So I could take that piece home and put something up there, uh, but it's not really worth it to me to do that. And, and really the only place that has that style of plastic shelf is Walmart. Uh, we are probably going to go into a time lapse right now just to make this quick because a lot of this is just kind of tedious, just uh, organizing, you know? So... Yeah, let's see where we go with this. I'm going to go ahead and go into a time lapse and uh, try to get this stuff straightened up and then get this stuff back in my truck so that we can uh, go on about our day. There is one mobile container that I have somewhere around here. Maybe it's in the truck. Yeah, maybe in the truck. I've got a mobile DeWalt organizer full of cam lock stuff that I use for the road. Uh, oh, this is what we're going to do. Hold on. We could reintegrate it back into these things. So before we go to time lapse, doing the organizing part of it, let me go ahead and move this out of the way. It is uh, basically screws for mounting uh, locks, like Schlage screws, Quickset screws, for mounting the actual hardware itself. Uh, this cable I need to do something with, but as you can see, I do have parts bins going right here with and so the logical answer here would be to not put them in the plastic bins and try to reuse this for certain things would be the logical answer. There's, there's the loose screw container, there's screws. So these screws would need to go into those plastic things. But there's some Medico locks. Oh, I hated these things so much. Medico cam locks. So yeah, obviously the, the logical thing to do here would be to try to reintegrate it into this and or take this and move it into the back room. It's, it's I'd rather, if I have to dig through locks uh, to find something if somebody brings in a cam lock and I have to dig through parts or whatever, I'd rather do it right here than in the back room. And then we can see this is all leftover stuff. Good Lord. This is all leftover stuff from uh, from a long time ago. A long time ago. Crap load of Corbin wrestling cylinders. Uh, and I actually have these. I've got enough Corbin wrestling cylinders. Even deadbolt cylinders there. And latches and then parts for the old locks. Uh, I've, got a, I've already got some of those going right up there. Right up there, there's some Corbin Russell cylinders in all those containers. So that actual bin could get sorted up there. Again, not something I'm overly concerned about. But yeah, this was, this was what they used before, kind of before me, I guess. I never was really fond of it. I don't know why it's a great, 
you know, organizing container, but uh, I don't like the fact that I can't see through it like a plastic band. I, I, I hate plastic. I love metal, right? Uh, and you're like, well, just put the that. You don't need to see into it when you have that up there. But I don't know. I just like being able to see into see into things like that. So what do you think? Should I reintegrate this section of the cam locks? And I, I can move some of this. I can move it down like this container right here could really be done. But if I, the TV, we've decided it used to live in front of this, but now we kind of angle the TV over a little bit so that I could access more of this shelf. Uh, hmm, let me think, y'all. Let me see. I'm going to give some cold coffee and brew on this idea. Get it, brew, coffee? Yeah. Uh, I really would like to retain some of this for in and out. Ooh. Uh, in and out uh, stuff like that. Like that's supposed to go in the truck. And just put it there when it's not needed in the truck and then grab it again. It's kind of what I did on the bottom here. Uh, as far as putting in regular locks, like Schlage, Wiser parts. So I'm pretty sure I want to go ahead and reintegrate this back into the cam lock area. I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, look what Jason got. I've got to take a break before I tackle this. I think all the cam locks are coming here. I think that plastic uh, shelf is going to go home because I need two more sections because I've got a two foot tall section and I need those other two to go on top of it. And I need room at the house more than anything in the junk room. Uh, and then uh, figure out what to do with that guy right there because that's old decorative hardware, Deco Wars. Sorry, Ren, that I never got back to that, but <laughs> still have the hashtag up on the board there. Deco Wars from three years ago now. But yep, this area just about to be redone i think i'm gonna go ahead and use the blue things maybe i don't know <laughs> such a pain in the butt that's a lot more organizing because i'm gonna have to dump most of those out to make them into and first off i need to get this annoying cord out of the way from the sign right there so as you can see i've already done the speaker wires if I, if I, t I don't have a great connection to the TV because that's an older speaker set. Awesome. Harman Kardon, but uh, an expensive one too at the time. But it's about 20 years old and it's got a, a digital uh, plug-in that has to go to an adapter to plug into the TV. And if you touch it, it makes it crackle off at full volume. So I'm going to have to unplug the volume to that so that I can work on it so that it doesn't crackle when I'm moving this wire. Because that wire actually kind of ties up with that wire and goes to a, a circuit breaker right there or a power strip right there. So let's, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of cable management here. What's up? Now that I got that stabilized, we've got the speaker unplugged. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Out of the way, let's go this way. All right, it looks like a tangled mess, but that's what it is. We've got just some spare cables that I've looped over here that I use for various things. Uh, speakers up there that's connected. We've got this guy that just kind of hangs out as well. It's a USB plug for the lock force images. And then we got this, just a power cable, yep. Uh, and what I, I was gonna do was probably take up some of this slack because it's not needed. All right, so we're probably gonna go ahead and just zip tie this up a little bit. And uh, what else are we gonna do here? Just make sure all the cords are in okay shape and not tangled up. We could probably unplug this Google guy here. He's not really serving a big purpose up here anymore. 
and uh, either stop using it or relocate them, one of the two. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I've moved a few things around, got the cord tethered like it's supposed to be, got all the cable management done over there, moved some of that down, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably utilize this. So what I have to do now is take out all these old parts. These were great bins for these parts, but I never look in here when I'm looking for parts anymore. Uh, yeah, so that is actually kind of its own whole video. Whew. And really all I had was, was uh, these, these four or six right here for and uh, it does a good job in separating cams I, I did a whole cam cam uh, thing quite a while ago uh, but I didn't do it on video I sorted all those all four of those took a while to get all those cams sorted into the right bins which I don't want to do anytime soon but I'm thinking since Cams are already good to go. Maybe since this TV won't move over anymore and these won't come all the way out, maybe I just use these for very, very rarely used things uh, and then and then use these other ones for the different lengths of cam locks and maybe the desk locks. I think, I think there's plenty of room to put quite a few desk locks in one of those, so we will see. And then whatever can't fit in there, maybe we'll either go there or this will get moved out of the way and uh, and they would be put right there. And that way I can use the plastic bins in the back or plastic shelves for something else. That's great, that's great. So uh, Kim is on her way, so I'm gonna go ahead, which means when Kim's on her way, that means I'm about to have to get out of the shop. And uh, obviously this is kinda cluttering up the front of the shop, so I'm gonna go ahead and at least get the file, these done and these put in their bigger bins, uh, maybe not, maybe won't be separating them into the metal bins today but I, I very seriously think that maybe we'll go ahead and put put some wood desk locks especially the more common ones on ebay <laughs> i mean on uh because <laughs> uh, i've got a few it's a whole, whole container full of inch and an eight i don't need that many for sure so yeah round base diamond base Oh, there's there's still about five or six different variations of those. So I'm thinking we go ahead, get rid of all five of those plastic bins, put them all in those things, right? Because I don't often need them. And that'll open up these narrow shelves in here for something else that I don't need a whole lot of often. So that's my plan and that's what we're doing. So rest of the day. And to test how many will go in there, we're going to go ahead and dump out the Corbin cores and the old Dexter stuff, which will both be sorted up, the better ones anyway. Some of these just, will probably either go in a Rockforce giveaway or on eBay, one of the two. Uh, and this old Dexter stuff, which, you know, but not this, when am I ever going to use this? But... This will go into a plastic bin and go behind Nakitoma because that's very, very, very rarely needed. You know, maybe someday somebody will have one of these guys and I'll remember it here and I'll be like, hey, why don't you come, why don't you come to the shop and pick this up? I know I've got that part, I'll call you. And then like this Jimmy Proof right here, that doesn't go in there, that goes in the Jimmy Proof thing and the way in the background that actually goes on Nakitoma for right there but uh, move this over yep, there we go that right there right where it's supposed to go okay Ooh. not how i intended it to be used but it is, it is what it is hey dumbledore I'm just go right back in here because we don't need you
We have made significant strides on putting the desk locks up. We didn't really get much in the way of cam locks, but that's okay because they're already all kind of separated. Got those pen tumbler things here. All these are all pen tumbler style, either cam or uh, those little knob locks. And we have the 8055 full box on here and 8053. So what we can do is go ahead and get these three guys out of the way and back up because they're taking up a whole lot of room here. And we do still have a few oddball cam locks. And I think we can probably just go ahead and plan on just maybe putting them in here like this. These are all shorter ones. so. I guess this would make a good uh, good bend for like super short cam locks or uh, aftermarket. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do because that'll that'll round that out nicely. Those can go back on the, the back shelf, or I may pull the shelf down and just stack those up. You know, maybe that's something we can do. Uh, oddball, antique, tubular in oddball, so maybe these two oddballs could be combined together. Let's, let's just do that. Yeah. Tubular there. We got some oddball guys here. We got a double bit Illinois style. And then we just have. Then we just have a few oddball things. That's actually a mailbox lock right there. Mailbox. Those have their own spot. So we're going to go ahead and pull that out. There we go. Oh, that is super short. That can go over there. It's a toggle that needs to go on my bend. And uh, then we have some, some used ones. Where's that thing that I was going to sell? Oh, what did I do with it? Did I put them up? Well, gosh golly. I guess y'all don't get Let's just put that there. Put this here, yeah, like that. That is an octopod bracket. Okay, so here we go. We've got it narrowed down to, I need to go get a lid, but we've got it narrowed down to that. Now we do have the problem with all these other bins with the actual locks in I do have one bin left right there that may become possibly a mailbox but now we have the problem of having several bands with just uh just all those old cylinders all those old locks and we've got three over here as well let's go take a look at the shelf so one two three four and I combined the National and Westlock into one fat boy. All those can go, as we recall, those can probably get shoved up on the shelves right there. Yep. And then here we have what has gone on there. We were just putting up tail pieces. So let's move these back. And we can see we've got all the desk locks here. We've got seven eighths inch diamond base full seven eighths inch assorted diamond base an inch and an eighth diamond base inch and an eighth different colors diamond base brass duro few chrome back there seven eighths inch round brass and duro chrome seven eighths inch round square base those are kind of oddballs subassembled door locks desk locks and push and turn. So there we go. That appears to be it with that. We've got a nice little section up here. We can we can do something with that. Uh, got to bring our, uh, and then of course, got to bring our kits back from over there and probably put one right here. And if I need to access desk locks, then I can just move that out of the way. I don't know what I'm going to do with that other screw thing. These may be temporary, even though they sit pretty well. I may just put both rows of both of those right here. So that may be what happens. I hadn't really decided that 100%, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead 
and uh, pull that plastic shelf down and just stack these up. They don't need a, they don't need a plastic shelf. We can just stack plastic bins up. Ooh, I could have just, could have just taken these out, but it's much more fun to do that. Huh? The fantastic thing is, is I didn't really use any of my large bins. Because I can use them for something else now. And I definitely think this is unneeded. I think that's taking up more room than it would without it. What do y'all think? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let this be a lesson, y'all. Some shelving actually takes up more room than it actually does good. Carson's done its duty today. We've got just those few locks left and we are done with today's shop vlog. I appreciate y'all watching. We're gonna go ahead and move Carson back to his resting spot so he can get some more rest in preparation for the next time we need him. So anyway, thanks again for watching. It's just uh, wood dust clocks day, all right? Catch y'all next video. Beautiful. I gotta get that back in the truck. Oh, I started thinking about using this for that. I was like, hey, these little containers would be great for that. And then I could put the locks below it, maybe. Maybe, and I got a couple of bigger ones here. I don't necessarily have to use these, but if I don't use a few of these, I can always just buy another case and use them in that for absolutely nothing. <laughs>